Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Pan Express Project here. It's a nice Sunday evening. The sun is starting to setting, so so I'm gonna make this a quick vlog. I've been seeing a lot of these uh, trends lately, so I'm gonna join in the fun. So today, I'm gonna tell you five things I hate about my WRX. All right, you guys. We're gonna talk about five things I hate about my WRX. Before we start into that, let's go a little bit history of my vehicle. Uh, so far, I've had this vehicle for about a year, uh, of April, and the mileage is about a little over 12,500 miles. So, after driving this vehicle for that long, I might as well talk crap about it. It's my car, and I will talk crap about it. So, let's start with number five, the hill assist. Now, the hill assist is annoying. When I first got this car, uh, I drove this on the highway for the first time. It was fun, it was quick, it was great. When you drove around the city, it was annoying. Uh, the car will not move right away. When I first got it, it hesitant a lot, especially when I just get the car rolling. Until I found out this car came with an electronic hill assist. When I found that out, I immediately turned that off. Why? Because it is stupid. If you cannot drive a stick shift up a hill without any assistance, you shouldn't be driving stick shift at all. When you're first starting out, it's great. But I've been driving stick shift for about four years. And all the vehicles I've driven so far were from the 80s. And it has no assist of any kind. So... Hill says crap. Number four, the warranty. Now this is, is going to be half good and half bad. The good part is that if anything is wrong with my engine or transmission, they will cover it. The bad part is that if I touch the engine and transmission like power mods or anything like that crazy or to change the clutch or anything, that measly voids the warranty. So, I can't touch any of that stuff. So, to keep the car under warranty, I cannot touch the powertrain. But, on the long run, if the car messed up, they will fix it. As long as it's covered under warranty. Number three, the sound system. The sound system on this car can be better. Um, it's definitely better than what I had before, because... The cars I've driven were 80s. Their speaker systems suck. It was good enough just for you know long drives, you know, get don't get bored while driving. But it's better than what I had. However, there is more to give. Uh, definitely, I should have went with the Harman Kardon, but I was I cheaped out on it, so I didn't get the Harman Kardon. But the sound system is definitely better than what I had. But it can definitely needs to get more, or it definitely needs more. Number two, the exhaust. Now the exhaust that comes stock with this car is okay. It's decent enough, you can hear a little rumble, but it's quiet enough, you don't piss off your neighbor. I like to piss off my neighbor. So, to remedy that issue, I got myself a Tomei Titanium Catback Exhaust. Now the car sounds awesome. Now, I did notice the Tomei did come with an additional resonator where the stock exhaust did not. At right where the after the catalytic converter. But, it sounds great. I will definitely put a video right about here. Now, the Subaru does offer a performance exhaust, but you don't want to go that. It's just as almost as quiet, maybe just a little bit louder, but it's still quiet. So if you have a WRX, get yourself an after aftermarket exhaust. It's, I mean, there's plenty of out there. Just get one. I mean, the cheapest I've seen was about. Uh, I mean, you can start out with your nameless axle axle back exhaust. They're great. Uh, three to four hundred bucks. If you can find them used, uh, it's a lot. You may luck out cheaper, but I don't know. Um, but if you were planning to get exhaust, 
I will highly recommend get a cap back. Uh, you can get them as cheap as 500 bucks. And for my case, I spent about 960 for a full titanium exhaust, which is not bad. But that's only you have the cash for that. Now, all right, now just a little bonus here. Uh, I'm just going to add this, and this probably most Subaru owners will have this issue the seatbelt chime. Now, you should put your seatbelt regardless regardless which state you're in. I will highly recommend at least put the seatbelt on. Now, for people who does not put them on, and I've seen a lot of this, uh, are annoyed by the seatbelt chime. Uh, even even if I'm the one seatbelt and I have a passenger that doesn't want a seatbelt, the seatbelt chime will go off, and it, it's annoying. So. Now, I heard there's ways to turn it off, but uh, why would you do that? I mean, the whole idea for seatbelt is for you to use. It's a safety thing. But, hey, it's your life. You can do the heck you want. All right. Time for number one. The tune. The stock tune on this car definitely suck. And I mean suck. Between... 1500 to about 4,000 rpm. Haha. -ha. After that, it go. It goes down the hill. Also, additional to that, you also have the notorious rev hang, which also suck. That's why when you drive this car in first and second gear, the car has a tendency to jerk a little bit, and it's annoying. Like I said, the cars I've driven were 80s, and they don't even have this issue. You can make the transition a lot smoother by just by fuel and law. The computer, fuck you. Now, there is ways to remedy that tune, which is getting an access port. However, the access port is also pretty expensive. I heard you can get them used, but good luck. Because sometimes people will forget to unmarry them. Uh, people who own the access ports will understand what I'm talking about. And it's just as expensive as to send it back to Cobbs and get them unmarried. However, there is a plus side with the access port. You definitely get a better tune for your vehicle. Also, when you tune your vehicle, when you take it to a pro tune, they also require that device to tune your vehicle. And when you have power mods to your vehicle, that access port will help the tune to adjust for those mods. All right, you guys, I hope you liked the video of me not liking my WRX. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more in the future, hit the subscribe. If you want to see my social media, send in the bottom of the description. Peace out.